My client has made a boatload of money in the weed business, and today we're going to place some of that in the real estate market in Cleveland, Ohio. Eric from Denver, Colorado, this is your video. Let's dive in. For the price, I mean, this is actually a really nice house. A little bit more rough, a little more ragged. Going to keep those values high. Here's quarter mile comps. There's $260,000 houses right down the street. You'll be able to put your offer through me, and then after you close, Holden Wise, we can handle the property management. We'll even be able to help you with the insurance. We have lenders who will write loans for investors in all 50 states. This deal is 100% James Wise approved. James Wise denied. Hey, real estate investors, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. This is the show we do where I work with you one on one. Whether you found a deal on your own, listed by any of the 5,000 other real estate agents in the Cleveland market, or a wholesaler reached out to you, you're doing your own direct marketing, I can give you my expert knowledge and advice and let you utilize my resources post-closing. In addition, I can also take your goals, your budget, your situation, your story, and I can help you find things out there in the Cleveland market that I think would best work for you. Now today, today's show is uh, for a client of mine. His name is Eric. Eric is in Denver, Colorado. And Eric, uh, you actually got me thinking on a, on a topic that I kind of want to talk about a little bit. You've made your money working in the weed business. Now, out there in Colorado, it's completely 100% legal. Where I am in Ohio, medical marijuana is legal, and that just happened, but recreational marijuana is not. Now, I know a lot of people, they might see the Trump head, and they might say, oh, Trump, Republican, a lot of Republicans are very anti-legalization of weed, and they might think, oh, James Wise is super anti-weed. But then, of course... You might also be thinking, I don't know, look at the size of that dude's beard. If you're going to grow a beard like that, you're probably pretty pro-weed. Uh, so in all, in all reality, I am actually very pro the legalization of marijuana. I don't partake in it uh, recreationally or anything like that. You know, I'm not going to say I never have back in my, my younger days, but it never really caught on with me. It was never really my thing. But... From a economic standpoint, I, I think it's completely asinine not to legalize, regulate, and tax the marijuana industry. I, I think there is a, a ton of things, a ton of positive things can happen to a lot of locations in the United States of America if you were to bring that industry into the forefront, bring that industry above board. So for everybody else out there that's watching Eric's video, I would like to hear your opinion on the marijuana industry. Are you pro or against legalization and why? In addition, I want to know what you as investors think about the marijuana industry, right? Because legalizing marijuana can do really nice things for the economy of a certain area. I know it did wonders for Colorado. And Eric, you know, perhaps after uh, you go through this episode, maybe one of these days you'd want to hop on an episode uh, of Holton Wise TV and we could interview you about your experiences making your money in the marijuana industry and how it's allowed you to invest some of those funds into real estate. That might be a little food for thought. Let me know in the comments below if you're interested in doing that, Eric, and everybody else, let me know in the comments below your thoughts on weed, legalization or not legalization, and what it can do for your career in real estate and the, the communities you're investing in. As for... What we really came here to talk about, though, Eric, the topic of the day is the property you sent me, and uh, that is a quad listed by a EXP Realtor, 3186 West 52nd, Cleveland, Ohio, 44102. This is a brand new listing on the market for 135900 just listed five days ago. Now, Eric, a little bit more about you. Uh, I already you know, touched on this. You made your money. Uh, you work in the marijuana industry. You just recently did a, a 1031. You have $180,000 cash to utilize. You're interested in C or B 
locations, but this ain't your first rodeo, bro. You've already got properties in multiple locations. You got you got property in Portland, Oregon. You got some property here in Lorain, Ohio, which is just a little west of the Cleveland area. Uh, Holton Wise, just so everyone knows, we do manage in Lorain. Uh, that is outside of Cuyahoga County, but we manage in Cuyahoga County as well as any county that touches it. So that's on the outskirts of uh, where we operate, but we do work there too. Your risk tolerance is moderate to high, which would make sense considering you got a decent chunk of money. You got solid revenue coming in. You've already been in the real estate business. So you're looking for that cash flow and you're willing to take on some risk to get it, which is good because this particular property, this, uh, just so you know, Eric, this is not actually a C or B neighborhood. I would consider this to be a D neighborhood. Okay. So pulling it up on the map here. All right. We are in the Clark Fulton neighborhood. So this is very much a D class location, but what is nice, uh, Right up in, I think it should be, it's kind of hard to tell from the map, but it should be like right up in here is where Metro Health is. And Metro Health is big because Metro Health is actually investing almost a billion dollars into that initial, that immediate neighborhood, right? Metro Health, very large hospital. They're, they're putting a, mi a billion bucks, billion, B with billion, with a B like boy. They're putting a billion dollars into that immediate neighborhood and development over there. There's a few articles and stuff about it, so I'll link to some of those below. So that makes me like this D-class area more than other D-class areas. Now, as of right now, you're still going to get all the risk associated with a D-class neighborhood. So don't think just because Metro is planning on putting a billion bucks in there, you're going to get yourself uh, higher quality tenants today. You will not, right? It's just normal D-class living. If uh, you're not sure about D-class living or anybody else who's not as familiar with the real estate game as my guy Eric is, you're going to want to check out the Tenants from Hell show. I'll link to a few of those in the show notes below as well. Uh, that you know, evictions, difficult tenants, uh, property damage, those types of things are going to happen. So we're going to run through the numbers on this property, but you know, we're going to be evicting folks. We're going to run into bad tenants. You know, these are just the things you're going to see. But I, I think from a cash flow perspective, this property's priced well uh, for the risk. I like the property. I, I think you buying it is probably a pretty good move. But I just want to make sure you're aware of those risks. Um, but in addition to all those risks, I still see a nice little cherry on top because I, I see this particular D-class neighborhood being one of the neighborhoods in the Cleveland area that has a good chance of possibly moving on to a, a higher value neighborhood. So that's my thoughts on that. As for the prop, well, first let's read, let's read what they said, okay? The agent said 21.17% cap rate. Great for any investor looking for immediate cash flow. This property offers a total of four units with each unit collecting $650 per month. Each unit is two beds, one bath, and two of those units has Section 8 tenants in there. That's great. Section 8 is the right move for a property like this in this level of risk. Uh, I think that makes a lot of sense. So if we have 650 coming in out of all four units, that means we're bringing in a total of 2600 a month or $31,200 a year, fully occupied, so you don't have to worry about placing any tenants right now. Now, the listing agent... She said that it's a 21.17 cap rate. That's the thing, right? That's why people, you know, that's why you guys get these analysis from me, right? I, I, I'm going to shoot you through the fluff. I'm going to shoot you straight. Most of the real estate professionals out here in this market, they're not typically working with real estate investors. They're seeing these properties as homes for people to live in. They're not necessarily looking at them as investment vehicles, and they might not have a, a firm grasp on the realities of this business because, you know, this particular agent, she's saying that it's a 21.17 uh, cap rate. Me, on the other hand, I do not think so. I, I ran the numbers myself on what I think this property will produce, and it ain't a 21 0.17 cap. It's it's a nice cap. It's it's high, but it ain't that number. So let's just go through the numbers quickly. Twenty six hundred a month comes in. Repairs, maintenance, vacancy, and non payment cap X one thirty a month on all three of those. You got to account for that stuff. Now I think the reason the listing agent has got such a high cap is she's not accounting for that, right? She's probably only accounting for 
things that are happening every single month, not accounting for things that are variable in nature, right? Like you don't have to replace the roof today, but every 30 years you're going to have to replace that roof. And that's going to be a cost of big old property like this, probably close to $10,000. So you got to factor that in. You don't have any vacancy or tenants not paying rent today, but you got to factor that in because that's going to happen. This is D class investing. You ain't ever going to get away from that. Same thing with repairs and maintenance. So we're going to calculate 130 for all three of those. Taxes, 118 a month. Insurance, 80. By the way, in the show notes below, quit, click to get a quote on this particular property or anyone else who's watching. Click there to get a quote on any property anywhere in the United States of America that's a rental. We at Holton Wise own a farmer's franchise, and we are also appointed with various other independent insurance providers looking to find you guys the lowest possible premiums because that's all we do, baby. We just handle the rental insurance, so we get your premiums low, low, low. And for this particular property, we should be able to have you only paying 80 bucks a month. Water sewer, you got to account for that. That's going to be about 300 a month. Lawn care, 44, and property management should be 260. So the total expenses on this, you know, you're going to bring in. You're scheduled to bring in 26, but you should, on average, spend 1,192, which leaves you with an NOI of 1,408 a month or 16,896 a year on average. Now doing the numbers, that is only a 12 cap. Does that mean that's a bad deal? No, not at all. It's still a pretty solid deal, but it is absolutely not over 21. That is just uh, not realistic. If you were to finance this, I know you got 180k cash, so you could take it down cash if you wanted. I don't necessarily think you need to or should, though, right? This is a quad. This is the most amount of rent checks you can get coming in for the fewest amount of residential mortgages. So if I were you, I'd put it on a 30-year loan. You only got to put down 34,975. Bank will loan you the other 104. Your mortgage is small, 531. After you pay off your mortgage and, you know, the property performs, you know, similar to how I, I guesstimated it would on a semi-annual or semi-regular basis, you should be making on average 877 a month, which would be a 30.1% cash on cash return. So extremely high cash on cash return if you finance this. That's just a ton of rent coming in. And, you know, getting a 30-year loan on something like this, that's amazing, guys. Whenever you're buying real estate, my favorite property of all time is the quad. Because the number one reason I think you should invest in real estate is you get to pick up these assets. But if you can get the bank to lend you the majority of the money on a really great term, you let the tenants pay off your loan for you, right? So you collect the asset. The tenants pay off your liability, which is your mortgage. It's the best business ever. And if you do not have any lenders to loan you the money, Eric or anybody else out there, just send an email, sales at holtonweiss.com. I'll get you my list of lenders. I'm not talking about short, high interest, hard money loans. I'm talking about long term, 30 year fixed interest, low interest tax deductible loans. So the numbers look great. Everything looks great. As far as the price, I think the price is reasonable. Being that there's not a lot of quads in the Cleveland market, I, th I think you're probably going to have to bid pretty close to list price to take this one down. Now, there is one thing that does concern me quite a bit, and I think this is probably something we're going to need to negotiate with the sellers, the listing agent, after the inspection, because this, this is something that scares me. Now, looking at the the property. Nothing on this property is like brand new or anything, right? So as far as your mechanicals go, your hot water tanks, your furnaces, do not anticipate you're going to get anything that's brand new. I anticipate that stuff's going to be mid to end of life. Just so you know, furnaces, they're going to last you approximately 30 years. They cost about 3 k to replace. Hot water tanks last about 15 years. They cost about a grand to replace. Roofs, Big, huge property like this, like I said, could be about 10 Gs. These last you about 30 years. Looking at the photos here, I do not anticipate anything to be brand new because nothing is new in this property. But this right here, this is one of the first photos that actually causes me an alarm. And this is something we're going to need to discuss with them after your inspector goes through. This might be a, a point of contention. What you have here... This is like the living room, okay? And then obviously the photographer is in the dining room. Now you can see the ceiling in the dining room much higher than in the living room. What that is right there, that is a drop ceiling and it has dropped pretty low. 
That is a pretty big red flag to me. You shouldn't really have a drop ceiling in any room outside of the basement of a property like this. Here's another room with another drop ceiling. Okay. And I think that was all of the drop ceiling photos. Oh, nope. Here's a third room. We got So we have three rooms. That might be another angle of the first room. Let me go back. Hard to tell. Yeah, that's just another angle of that room. So we have at least two living rooms here that have drop ceilings. At least two rooms, rather, that have drop ceilings. The reason that's such a red flag to me is when you see a drop ceiling that is above ground, what is probably happening is there was water damage coming down and it ruined the the, the existing ceiling. And as opposed to redrawing it and doing it the right way, the particular owner decided to, to just cover it up, essentially. So I can't tell you for a fact that that's what happened, but I would suspect that's what happened. So when we put this property under contract, of course, we're going to make a contingent on inspection, and we're going to want to make sure the home inspector gets up under that drop ceiling and sees exactly what's going on. Because if they covered that up, what else did they cover up? So that doesn't mean you should avoid this deal. It doesn't mean you still shouldn't do this deal, especially because you have a moderate to high risk tolerance. It's just we need to do the proper due diligence, and we need to investigate this to see what's wrong. So if we go into this property at or very close to list price, contingent on inspection, depending on what the inspector finds, specifically what's under that drop ceiling, we may have a point of negotiation with those sellers to either get some repairs or preferably get some money off the purchase price because, you know, if, if you got a particular seller who chose to fix whatever's going on there with a drop ceiling instead of fixing it the right way, I would not want to have that seller fix something before we closed. I would prefer to get the money off so you could bring in Holton Wise and we can get it fixed the right way. You know it's getting done the right way as opposed to, you know, somebody whose motivation would likely be to fix it the cheapest way just so they can get the sale closed. So that is my thoughts on this building though. All in all, I think it'll be a good deal. I think it'll be a big cash cow for you. Just know that right now it's still D-class, so there's definitely some risk involved. And it's not always going to be uh, a hunky-dory, happy-go-lucky relationship between you and Holton Wise if we become your property manager on this property. There's going to be times where you're probably going to be frustrated because my team is going to be reaching out to you with bad news. Because in a neighborhood like this, bad tenants, they're going to happen, man, again. Tennis from Hell show. I got some shows uh, in the in the uh, show notes below. Check that out if you guys don't know what I mean when I say Tennis from Hell. But all in all, the rough stuff considered, if you could plow through it and look at this as a long-term investment, I think it's pretty solid, especially because of all the D-class neighborhoods in the Cleveland market, this is my absolute favorite because of the amount of money that Metro's putting into the Clark Fulton neighborhood. Eric, that's all I've got for you, man. You want to make an offer? Shoot it over to sales at holtonwise.com. Everyone else, if you're interested in working with me one-on-one -on -one like I just did with Eric, go to holtonwise.com, click the property search for sale tab, and go to the MLS search and analysis show to order your one-on-one -on -one analysis like this. Or make sure you're subscribed to our mailing list and we will mail you a property every single day that we are selling at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time from our other show, The Investment Properties for Sales Show. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. For the price, I mean, this is actually a really nice house. A little bit more rough, a little more ragged. Going to keep those values high. Here's quarter mile comps. There's $260,000 houses right down the street. You'll be able to put your offer through me. And then after you close, Holden Wise, we can handle the property management. We'll even be able to help you with the insurance. We have lenders who will write loans for investors in all 50 states. This deal is 100% James Wise approved. James Wise denied. RentTech Direct provides you with an easy to use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built-in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. You can manage work orders and even accept them online from your tenants. You can also share work order details with tenants or owners if you wish. With RentTech Direct, you'll also fill your vacancies faster than ever with the built-in marketing tools. 
Just enter the details of your property and RedTech will automatically provide you with a professional online website as well as syndicate them to popular websites such as Zillow, Trulia and Apartments.com to get your listing maximum exposure so it's rented fast. Cleveland, Ohio is widely considered to be one of the top rental markets in the entire United States. This is because here in Cleveland, our housing prices are low and our rental prices and demand are high. At Holton Wise, we provide the complete turnkey solution for all real estate investors, whether they are local, out of state, or even abroad. As real estate brokers, we will provide you with agent representation to help you buy properties ranging from single family homes to large apartment complexes. We even have referrals for lenders who can provide investment property loans to investors located in all 50 states, allowing you to capitalize on the use of leverage or other people's money. We have referrals to top-notch title companies so you know that all of your transactions are safe and secure, with every single property being delivered to you with clear title. Once you close on the property, we have an investor-focused insurance brokerage who can handle all your property insurance needs. This insurance brokerage handles auto, home, life, and business policies, but they specialize in working with policies for landlords. We also have full service property management. We can handle all rental property advertisements, tenant placement, rent collection, evictions, maintenance, landscaping, construction, and repairs. In addition, Holton Wise also offers digital media and education. One day, when you are ready to sell your investment, Holton Wise, as the number one seller of investment properties in the greater Cleveland area, can market your property in a video, just like this one, to our worldwide base of investors who are looking to capitalize on the high cash flow opportunities in the Cleveland, Ohio market. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.